what are some things that you're getting better at and what are some things you're still working on? Uh, well, I'm, I'm getting better at a lot. Honestly, man, I got a great coach in uh, Coach Madhouse and he's teaching me a lot about the small details of playing linebacker and like watching the older guys like Anthony Hitchens and Damian Wilson play the position that, that, that I'm, you know, trying to play. Uh, just really the details of it, the small things I'm getting better at and it's paying off for me. Let's go to Seren Petro. Go ahead, Seren. Willie, I'm curious. Uh, Chiefs have made a big splash here in the offseason, getting a lot of big contracts done. Patrick Mahomes, Chris Jones, Travis Kelsey. Uh, listen, you know, the, the contract you get as a second-round pick is nothing to sneeze at, right? A lot of people love to have that deal. But sure. when you see those mega deals that those guys are signing, what, what goes through your head as a young guy just coming into the league and seeing all those zeros behind some of those contracts? Well, you know, uh, as a rookie, man, I'm just playing my role. But, you know, I definitely have a dream one day of, you know, doing what I need to do today to make sure in three, four years I'm in that same position, you know, however long it takes. So, whether I mean, I hope it's here, you know, uh, I can – Continue to, uh, to continue out my career here in Kansas City because it's a great city, great team. You know, uh, shoot, man, I just dream of stuff like that. So I'm working towards it for sure. Let's go to Adam Teicher. Go ahead, Adam. Hey, Willie, uh, you talked a minute ago about Coach House and how he's, um, he's a great coach and he's helping you out. Can you be specific some of the things he's doing to help you um, kind of get ready for the season? Uh, man, Coach House is just one of those coaches. He, uh, it's just a lot of tough love. You know, he's going to tell you when you're wrong and he's going to tell you exactly. He's going to uh, pat you on the back when you're right. But a lot of times it's just, it's just, he, he pinpoint, he pinpoint everything from small details to big things. And each and every day, you know, I'm, it's never a perfect day for me. I'm always getting better at something when it comes to Coach House coaching me. So it's great. Let's go to Nate Taylor. Go ahead, Nate. Hey, Willie, I have two questions for you. The first is, you know, some rookies have said that this feels similar to college, obviously, because you don't have preseason games to get adjusted to the league. I just wonder for you, how much is that true? And just what are you noticing um, that feels somewhat similar to what you did, obviously, the last few years at Mississippi State? And then secondly, because you're not having preseason games, you are going up against one of the fastest, if not the fastest, offense on the field and obviously a, a talented quarterback in Mahomes. Uh, just how much do you think they're helping you get prepared for what you may see on the speed of the game in those first few weeks in the NFL? Well, you know, it's, you know, it's, we don't have a lot of time right now to the first game. Everybody knows that, but we just got to take every day. And uh, as rookies, we, we picking up on it fast. I mean, sometimes it's, it's rough, you know, we like, okay, we, we pros now. So it, it won't, it won't be as long until the game comes and it's, it's not as easy no more. So, but we got an advantage over here in Kansas City when you're playing against the offense like ours, man, in practice, like, you see some crazy stuff, you know. So, like, when you see that, it's like, okay, I know everybody in the league can't do what this guy's doing at quarterback or running back or receiver, you know. So, it's, it's definitely making us a lot better, so. Let's go to Sam McDowell. Go ahead, Sam. Hey, Willie. Um, a couple things. I'm wondering, are you learning all three linebacker positions right now and what's your comfort level at each of those? And then, um, well, just actually that the last one answered my second one. So just, just your comfort level, all three linebacker positions. Oh, uh, really? I'm just playing two spots right now. I'm Sam and base in the base package and I'm, I'm the buck linebacker in the nickel in the, in the Buffalo package. And really just, just trying to get better at each, you know, uh, watching Damian Wilson, you know, somebody that I play behind in both spots and uh, trying to get better each and every day, just seeing how he does everything and the details from big to small and just trying to just, just like I said, just get better at, at both of those, so. Looks like we've got three hands up. Let's go Pete, Robert, and then Seren. Go ahead, Pete. Hey, Willie, one thing Coach Spagnuolo noted is just how much you love to play the game, so I'm sure you're enjoying the nonstop football as compared to college. I was curious, what is your favorite part of being a pro so far now that you've gone through a few padded practices at training camp? Well, it's just football. You know, I don't, I don't have to go to study hall after. I don't have to study for a test. You know, when I go home after practice, man, it's I watch TV and I study football, you know, or, or I watch football, I watch practice, or – I look over plays, you know, it's just football in my regular life. So I could do that for the next 12, 10, 12 years, man. So it's great. Let's go to Robert. Go ahead, Robert. 
Um, so the Chiefs posted that clip the other day of you and Clyde going out and in practice and you kind of batting a ball away. Uh, how, I'm just curious how those kind of battles between you and camp are going and are you having a good time, you know, going up against a running back like that? Oh, yeah, man. You know, every day well, when we were doing the uh, one-on-ones, you know, it was like a battle every day. You know, I wasn't always winning. So they got me on a good day. So, uh, but it's definitely days where, you know, we both getting better better, and uh, we're making each other better. And and uh, you go up against guys like like uh, Kaiser on, at the tight end position. And, you know, he's making me better each and every day. And running backs, all three running backs, four running backs. And like it's just, it's a great competition out, out there. Let's go to Saran. Go ahead, Saran. Well, we, we talked uh, with uh, a couple of the veterans uh, yesterday and talking about how everyone's, you know, trying to do their best to make sure that they don't get sick, right? It's a, it's a new environment that everyone's got to deal with. We pointed out that, you know, one of the young guys up in Seattle uh, ended up getting cut. He violated things. And just, like, how you guys go about talking amongst yourselves, you know, trying to be there for each other, you know, Leagues are doing it different ways. The NBA have what, you know, the guys are calling a quote-unquote snitch line. Mm -hmm. Like, if anybody got out of line, you know, they call somebody yeah. up. Like, just as, as a rookie, I'm curious. I heard the veterans, but as a rookie, how are you guys in, in, the, in the team, amongst your teammates, but coaches and everybody, just what's the word amongst each other and how you guys are trying to keep each other uh, safe? Man, as rookies, once again, we're just playing our role, man. Uh, we go straight home after practice. We, uh, we wash our hands, do whatever they ask of us to do, and uh, – stay out of bars and clubs and, and out of big places where a lot of people might be. So, I mean, that's all we can do, you know, and hope for the best. Willie, we had one more join in late. Uh, Nate Taylor. Go ahead, Nate, and close us out. Hey, Willie, I, I just thought of this. Um, and I wonder because Matt House used to coach at Kentucky in the SEC and obviously being – uh, recruiting down there in the, in the South. I just wonder, how far does your relationship go back with Matt? Did Matt ever uh, recruit you, or did it really just start with the draft process? It really just started with the draft. I really didn't know that he was the coach for Kentucky until, like, the draft time came around and uh, when I met with the team, and then they told me that this was Kentucky's uh, coach. And I was like, oh, man. So, And I remember the great defense that they had, you know, my sophomore year. And so, yeah, it was a great fit for me. So.